ladies and gentlemen, Mighty Hog and Rhino Man, as seen in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic cartoon, season four. Uh, this is the latest release from NECA Toys in their cartoon line of Ninja Turtles action figures. This is part of the Target exclusive Holothon 2023. Uh, it's supposed to be available online later on in March, but as of right now, they're showing up in stores and I was lucky enough to stumble upon an end cap that was just absolutely filled to the brim with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. So like a Pokemon collector, had to grab them all. And I'm very excited to check out this set in particular. This is a funny episode that I absolutely loved when I was growing up. Typical Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA packaging. Uh, very in line with the rest of the releases. You got your, you know, pictures on the front and the sides, your glam shots on the back, as well as your cross sells of other figures like Lotus, Chakahachi, Dirk Savage, Mona Lisa, and then the Crooked Ninja Turtle Gang and Rock Soldier. But let's go ahead and get them out of the plastic prison and check these guys out up close and personal. First up, let's go ahead and examine the namesake of the episode, Rhino Man himself. A uh, different rock steady head that we've got in the past. Jaw does open quite a bit in the lower portion. Uh, almost looks like his jaw is broken once it's open that wide, but I'm actually a big fan of the way they did that. Uh, the goggles are an included accessory that I went ahead and put on the figure. Uh, it is stretchable enough to where you can get over his ears, so you shouldn't have to worry about it breaking or anything. And they are on there snug, so you can shake them around and you don't have to worry about it falling off. They're nice cloth, soft goods cape. Uh, go ahead and if you want to take it off, you have to pop off his head and then take the cape off, pop his head back on. Articulation. Head's gonna spin around 360 degrees. It's gonna be able to look up that much and down that much and inside to side. So pretty good head articulation. Shoulders up and outwards, 360 degree rotation at the shoulder, 360 degree rotation at the bicep. We've got double hinge joints at the elbow, 360 degrees at the wrist. Midsection is nice soft rubber, so it's not all one solid chunk. Uh, you are able to get a little bit of a torso crunch. You can rotate them 360 degrees. Legs are on a ball and socket joint, so you can get a pretty wide split there on Rhino Man. Double jointed knees. Go ahead and rotate at the thigh if you wish. Ankles up and down and a little bit side to side. And then we have peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Round back, we do have a notch. This is for one of the accessories. So both Mighty Hog and Rhino Man each have this included jetpack accessory, has a peg there. Line it up, goes on his back, tucked away behind the cape, that way they can fly around the city and nobody's the wiser of how they do it, even though it's clearly obvious that they're using a jetpack. But overall, good looking figure. I like the colors, the bright yellow. Like I said, I like that this is a, a softer yellow on the midsection as opposed to the solid hard uh, t-shirt we've got in the past. Speaking of the past, here's the original release from NECA Toys with the, you know, the head sculpt and everything. And as you can see, a much larger head over here. Uh, the way that jaw opens versus the way this jaw opens. It's a night and day difference, as is, like I said, the, the size and the length of the head overall. Um, his midsection, just all solid, hard sculpted details, whereas this, you know, has that soft rubber. So um, a nice, a nice playful update to an awesome figure that we've already had in the past. Rhino Man's accessories that he comes with. It's pretty standard. You have your C gripping hands. You've got a peace sign hand. And then you have a little thumb in, fingers out kind of flying grip that you can put there on Rhino Man. And then there's this cell phone accessory that Shredder uses throughout the episode, I believe. Um, I can't remember. It might actually be the Hunger Dunger that was using this, but I do remember um, there being like a, a cell phone slash walkie-talkie being used throughout the episode. There's also this crazy wacky gun. Uh, there's really only no other way to describe this other than wacky, crazy, zany. Um, you've got red, black, and green wires on there that actually move around a little bit. Lots of different colors and dials going on with this. And it has a smooth, flat surface. And then we have Mighty Hog, his trusty sidekick. Uh, again, very similar features with uh, Rhino Man. And as his chain falls off, he actually has an actual uh, chain that goes around his wrist there. Whereas the previous release is much different. So we got shiny metal here, just, you know, 
gray plastic on the original release. As you can see, different faces all together. Same thing with the, the scale. Uh, slightly bigger head on the original release. Same kind of thing. His jaw opens over here. Jaw opens quite wide, has that broken jaw look to it. So I prefer the articulation of the jaw on the newer um, versions of Bebop. Classic one was great, but you know, I like that we get these new added features specifically in mobility and articulation. Uh, Mighty Hog here is gonna have the exact same kind of articulation that Rhino Man's gonna have. It's only gonna be slightly different because he can't raise his arms too crazy high because of these shoulder pads. Uh, little turtle shoulder pads that he's got, but everything else is going to be the same. Soft goods cape. Again, have that notch on the back. Have the notch on the back, just like Rhino Man for the jetpack. Line that up there. There we go. I like that his, you know, cape is tied neatly across the, the neck there. And we have the you know, nice little cut portions here. Uh, got the beautiful yellow M on the purple shirt for Mighty Hog. And of course, he's got his classic sneakers. So I'm not going to really focus on the articulation because it is identical to Rhino Man. But he does have pretty much the exact same hands as Rhino Man as well. So instead of red gloves, you just get Mighty Hog's skin colored hands. But they are identical. Like I said, they're the same gripping hands through and through. Same little peace sign hand he's got there. And then same like three finger thumb in flying hand. So same hands all together for both figures. But overall, I think these guys look phenomenal. Like I said, if you're collecting this line, you can't say no to any of these releases, honestly. Uh, finding these in store may be a little bit tricky, but supposedly these are going to be available on the Holothon website via costumes.com. $59.99 was the retail price point of these. So definitely check them out if you're a fan of this episode or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA cartoon line in general. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.